What is up? Welcome to Cinetracer Academy. This is our very first level, and today we're going to be learning how to light this white psych that's right behind me over here. So let's get started. What is up? My name is Matt Workman, and today we're going to be creating a virtual character in Character Creator 3, and we're going to be doing some facial performance capture using an iPhone in iClone, and then I'm going to bring the human and the animation back into Unreal Engine and make sure that it all plays back and looks great. And we're essentially going to be making a NPC or a talking human in Unreal Engine. It could also be used for cinematics and virtual production. So this is Character Creator 3 and this is the default human that they give you. You can see that it's pretty realistic out of the gate. And I'm going to choose one of these presets here. So there are a lot of different clothing options and I'm actually going to put him in a suit. So after like five minutes, I have this character made here using their preset person and a pretty good looking hair and he's wearing a suit. So to get this character to Unreal Engine, I'm using the built-in FBX exporter here and I'm using the Unreal preset. So I'm in Unreal Engine now. I'm going to import this FBX and then this plugin takes over and we're going to use the high quality shader and I'll bring out my new one here. Uh, there he is looking quite nice. I'm going to unselect him. And if we get real close, you can see that he's got like a pretty cool reflection in his eye from the key light. His hair is looking really good for, you know, what is video game hair? They did a lot of work with the tangents and the way that it's rendered. So what we want to do now is make this person move, right? And specifically the face, which is a really difficult thing to do. Animating faces like by hand, that takes like a professional animator. That's not me, but I've still got a way to do that. Okay, so now I've imported my character into iClone here. He's come uh, in pretty well, same guy. And you'll see that I'm using my iPhone, it's right there. And we're using the Live Phase app. And we're gonna connect it to iClone right now. And we're gonna go for a take, ready? Here we go. What is up? Welcome to Cinetracer Academy. This is our very first level. And today we're gonna be learning how to light this white psych that's right behind me over here. So let's get started. I'm a great actor, aren't I? I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. So let's see how that how that all came out here. What is up? Welcome to Cinetracer Academy. This is our very first level, and today we're going to be learning. So I'm going to export to FBX and 30 frames per second Unreal Engine. And the kind of cool thing about iClone, even though it's probably not like the best recording quality in the world, is that it did record my audio. So for me, that's really helpful. Uh, I'm going to export audio too in Wave. So we're back in Unreal Engine and I'm importing that animation we just made and I don't want the mesh. I only want the animation. So we're going to put it on the UE4 skeleton and all this other stuff should be okay here. So Okay, so welcome back. That animation is imported now. It's uh, right here. And I'm also going to go get that sound file right there. And we're going to add a notify that plays the sound and it's going to play this. It's going to play our audio. So we've modified the character blueprint a little bit here and we'll see how this looks. What is up? Welcome to Cinetracer Academy. This is our very first level and today we're going to be learning how to light this white psych that's right behind me over here. So let's get started. So that's pretty cool. I think that worked out pretty well. Uh, I know that in Character Creator, I'm sorry, in iClone you can go back and you can like animate and add keyframes and you can adjust the facial animation and I think there's a lot you can do to smooth it out and you can even like change expressions like over that and do um, more editing but I'm pretty happy that for like a solo developer it's just me here we made a character that looks more or less how I want we recorded audio and did the facial animation we use like a generic talking animation and I've made like a speaking NPC character custom from scratch in like I think less than an hour and I'm um, pretty happy with this workflow. I haven't tried it before. This is the first time. So character creator three to make the character, bring it into Unreal Engine. They look great. You're not going to find any better character creator for Unreal Engine than that. And I clone pretty easy with an iPhone here to set up some, you know, pretty decent facial animation. More than more animation than I would ever do. I mean, if I didn't have uh, I cloned it in the iPhone to do this, I wouldn't even do facial animation. You probably just get text. Or maybe audio where he just doesn't move his mouth. But here it's it's not that much harder to do that. I might as well. So that is the workflow. Um, it's kind of just for me really. I'm going to put this on YouTube and on the internet overall. But I'm really happy with this workflow. And I'm going to continue to produce Cinetracer Academy. Which is like our actual like video game. Where I would 
do something like this. Uh, I'm going to be the NPC once they have another feature that we're going to look at in the future. And uh, pretty happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll check you guys on the next video.